to enjoying every moment of any past given. Allow them to be brought back with partner Priscilla and their two children, Felicia and Christy. Allow us always interested in food, watching okay. rugby union and league, world history and above all, reading the Bible to gain a better understanding about the purpose and meaning of life. Allow us previous jobs include IT hardware <coughs> tech uh, and sales for 15 years, as well as a bar manager for four years at a members only bar in Tonga. His burning desire to become a Christian, a pathologist, or pastoral carer. And now, Flau, I'll hand over to you, but if you could let us know something that nobody knows about you, um, Something that nobody knows. Um, in 2020, I came over for a holiday uh, in March 2020. And the following week, Australia went into lockdown due to COVID. And my son and I came through. And my wife and daughter were supposed to join us in April. But due to the lockdowns, um, unfortunately, they weren't able to come through. Um, in January 2022, we had the biggest earthquake that they ever had in the South Pacific, which was in Tonga. And my wife and daughter were still in Tonga at the time. And um, there was total communication blackout for one whole month because Tonga was running cables um, for their communications overseas. <clears throat> so there was no internet, no telephone communication. We couldn't connect. We didn't know what was, I didn't know what was going on with them. I was trying to get hold of them. <clears throat> um, Lucky enough, fortunately, um, you know, we connected through the, the cloud, the original cloud, through the original Wi-Fi, and um, I was able to get um, <clears throat> confirmation that they're all right and uh, not to worry that everything is in place. Um, finally, when communication came back, I was able to secure a flight for my daughter and my wife in February 2022 and they're now here with us um, here in Australia. So um, this is my daughter. She got a first prize in um, St. Francis about two weeks ago for um, uh, design and technology and second prize in English, which uh, we never thought would ever happen in our lifetime. But uh, yeah, God is great. <laughs> um, Stan Painting Services, um, established in 2021. It's a family-owned business, founded by Stan, the guy in the middle. Um, and he's got five children, or oh, he's actually got 10 children, but five of them, they work in the business. <laughs> it's a Pacific Island way. Um, my topic for today is mold. Uh, something I've, we've been coming across lately, very frequently, and uh, I just started to read up on it. It's a very big uh, issue here in Australia. So it's uh, what is mold, what causes mold, how to remedy, and why stand painting. I'm sure a lot of the tradies in here would have come through this problem with mold and understand what it is. Um, with the video, do you just press enter or? I've got a video here I just wanted to watch. It's, uh, do you just press play there? Or? Uh, didn't come through? No. Uh, it did yesterday when I watched, eh? I watched it. You watched it? It doesn't come through here? Okay. Well, unfortunately, that part is not going to work for us today. <laughs> All right, we'll just continue. Um, what causes mold? The number one cause of mold is moisture. Moisture that is stuck on the ceiling or anywhere. If you actually, um, most, of the, most of you probably know, um, you're looking around your bathtubs, your sinks and ceiling, and um, you would find anything that's black around that area. That's what you call that black mold. Um, bad ventilation, again, like I said, the client that we uh, saw yesterday, um, they had uh, one window in that bathroom and unfortunately it had already been painted sealed tight and the ceiling ventilator didn't, uh, wasn't working for more than a year. So um, 
Um, again, ventilation is very, very important, uh, especially in the cold weather. We have these hot showers and the steam goes up and you know, it sits around that whole bathroom for about 30, 40 minutes. And that steam sits there and because it's cold, it gets into the ceilings. Um, the leaky roof is another big problem. Um, I think a lot of these builds, they've, uh, especially the old ones and the newer ones, because they've been done in such a rush, um, you can't tell it's leaking until somebody actually moves in there and then a few months later they start to... Um, that was what the video was about, was about this family in Brisbane that moved into a new house and they started to have problems with um, an aircon uh, duct. And then they came and they removed the, the air conduct and they just left a big hole there. And then mold started running through the whole ceiling. So the gentleman, unfortunately, um, he started to develop um, asthma and his daughter also started to develop asthma. So it's very, very dangerous. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of issues like this in Australia, but a lot of people don't pinpoint it, you know, bring it down to what it is. It's just like us, we, you know, we have friends who have all these kind of sicknesses and we can't pinpoint what it is, you know. Most of the time it's the food, the drink, but how do you prove it? How to remedy? Um, a simple solution like sugar soap with bleach. You'd spray over it, you leave it for about half an hour, then you come and um, scrape it off, you sand it, and then we'd apply um, what is called a block sealer or a stain block or a mold. Uh, um, now this kind of job, again, let the professionals do it. They know what they're doing. In stand painting services, we do it well. Now the blockers and the sealers. These are the f four main ones that we normally use. They're very, very good and very effective in what they do. But then again, like I said, if you don't fix the root of the issue, this is all useless. Because within a couple of months, you'll be back doing the same problem. And a lot of people, they'd say, okay, we just want the temporary. But then I said, you know, you're just wasting time and money again, rotating, rotating, rotating. So we'd normally would clean it back, sand it all back to sort of like almost bare. Then we'd apply two coats of um, these products. And then we'll put on your, um, your new um, top coat. Why stand painting services? I'm sorry if I'm going too quickly because that video was supposed to uh, give me a lot of my uh, time on it. Uh, we have 30 years. Um, Stan has been in the industry for 30 years and he loves painting. Uh, we are Dulux accredited painters uh, with excellent uh, workmanship and ethics. We offer free quotes and three year warranty on our workmanship and we are local. We show up and we get the job done. Why stand painting services? Again, um, oh, sorry, referrals to look out for. Do you know of any good painters? My house or bathroom, kitchen, etc., has molding and needs a fresh coat of paint? Or your driveway or your uh, roof needs to be painted or repainted? Stand painting, you dream it and we'll paint it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you can talk to me after this. <laughs> I know it's a very big issue here. I'm surprised the amount of new bills that already have this problem. And most yes. of it is due to the leaky roofs because they're just shooting, shooting, shooting. And after heavy rain. Yeah, then it starts to come through. Unfortunately, you know, it's the, the game that they try to push out all these bills and then the workmanship is not there. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone.